hi guys welcome back to my channel so i promised i was going to bring this soup to you guys your time of soup so here it is uh, guys please don't forget to subscribe like this video and share um and do all those good stuff so there's a lot of tales about this atama soup how it's medicinal how it can drive our bowel or main i'll give you the real gist inside the video so guys don't forget to subscribe don't forget that very important so my name is furo in case you're seeing me for the first time or you're hearing me for the first time okay so without further ado let's get into the content yeah beautiful soup <laughs> so guys this is the ingredients we're going to be using for this atama so this atama leaf is very famous for you know it's a uh, medicinal potent they say it can drive a bad old man i don't know how true that is so we're going to be using pepper crayfish very very good this thing i really don't know what the name is but we call it pepper soup spice but i don't know the actual name so this is like the king of the atama so it just gives it that um flavor very very delicious okay so guys this atama they said the leaf they said it can drive a bad omen i don't know this is prewinkle babe focus 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 us babe <laughs> so this is prewinkle yeah mm -hmm. clean this is catfish guys catfish look you see that shiny fish right there there's no soup i cook i don't put in that shiny fish especially native soup there's this taste it gives soup that i really really like yes i really like it that shiny fish so even if i put dry fish i still try to put mackerel yeah that's the english name mackerel dry mackerel it's very delicious it gives soup taste so that's the atama leaf, very famous. They say, they say it drives bad omen. And they say this leaf is very good for the night, in case you're married, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, guys. So this is the uh, seasoning cube I'm going to be using, uh, crayfish. And this one I got from the chef. And um, I saw it the first time in the chef and I liked it. I like the taste and I like it in the soup and since then I've been using it. Okay, so I just use this and the crayfish maggi just to spice up the soup. Okay. <laughs> ah. Get your salt. Okay, salt is very very important. So that's still my crayfish. I just added my salt into it. So this is me trying to cut down the atama leaf. You don't pound it, nothing. You just cut it. Oh my god, why is it not focusing? So you just cut it very tiny, just like so. Very easy. So I use goat meat and um, cow head for this soup, as you're seeing me do. Uh, this is me just steaming the goat meat, you know, and the cow head. So this is the banga oil that I've extracted from the banga seed. So I'm just boiling it. So what I do is I just boil the banga, wash out the oil with warm water, and then I put it. Guys, this soup is very messy. So I'll put in that stuff. I told you I don't know the name, the pepper soup spice. I'll just put it in the banga water and let it boil. It gives the soup a very, very good flavor, okay? So then I'm adding all my fish. Remember the mackerel and the catfish. I'm just going to add it. So <laughs> this soup, like everywhere is going to be oil. Please, guys, bear with me. <laughs> everywhere is just oily. So you just let them boil and then you add your pepper. <laughs> After a while, just add pepper. And that's me and uh, my crayfish. I just added crayfish too. So everything just let it boil, add, let it boil, add, let it boil, add, let it steam or so just like so. so don't mind me, that's me just playing with a bit, okay? So that's my spice, my seasoning cube and salt, okay? So I just put it in, just put to taste, okay, to your own liking and choice. So at this point I just let everything <coughs> Oh guys, sorry about that. I just let everything simmer and then i'll start adding my meat guys there's a secret about this soup look when you cook it the first day it's very watery just like you're seeing it but don't worry don't bother putting any thickener or anything just leave it by the second day you won't believe your eyes it will be thick enough for you to eat so it will be just be like 
you added the tick now but no you didn't add anything i think it's the banker that just gives it that ticking effect so that's the stock i'm just trying to add to the soup the stock guys and then i'll let everything boil or simmer together okay see the boiling man oh. this the, there was not enough lightning so this 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 video is not giving the look of the soup the way the soup looks like it's not giving enough i don't know what i'm going to say but this soup was looking amazing amazing okay so i'll just add in my perinko now so that my perinko can cook very well like what's banga soup without cut perinko <laughs> this thing is like they're quite from people like they like perinko like hell and give soup nice taste and just give the soup weight you know what i mean <laughs> so i just stir everything together just to make sure my perinko takes in all the flavor or the ingredient you know so that when you're sucking <laughs> you'll be sucking out the flavors of the soup is very very important okay so that's the soup staring guys like i'm saying like the oil everywhere is just too much <laughs> but guys i gotta show you this soup so the life is not doing me justice to the look of the soup but it's okay so we just keep going so that's the soup boiling seriously on the fire so it's, you is how long you let it boil that you bring out the color if you can see now the color is changing so you let it boil um well or steam or cook very well you know if you're cooking you understand what i mean so with the banga soup is how long you let the more you boil it the more vibrant the color is going to look like so with this soup you don't need palm oil point, you don't just need any form of oil just like so you finish cutting it so you just add it and please when you add it they say don't put any spoon don't turn it allow it to boil first before you put spoon because it might get bitter if you don't if you put your spoon in it so that's just the rules that are quite when people use to cook this soup and so you just stir the soup like so Mm. man guys if you taste this soup eh, ah this soup is so delicious so so delicious guys so that's the soup boiling on the fire as you can see so i had this delicious soup with my curry flour fufu in case you want to see the video of the curry flour fufu please please guys i'm going to link it on this video so that you can see it okay and that is my beautiful soup, delicious for me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.